I'm a front-end developer at Swedbank, and welcome to my talk about music programming using machine learning in Angular. A lot of buzzwords, right? But let's start with the most unknown term uh, among developers, music programming. 1843. 1843, this is the year that music programming was introduced as an idea. And as you imagine, we did not have the computers as we understand them today. But despite that, Ada Lovelace described in her works that computing engines, which were mainly for math calculations, might be as a perfect tool to create precise and scientific music. No surprises nowadays, we have different ways how we can actually create music with coding. And today I will cover music programming in front-end applications by getting some help from machine learning. Magenta. Magenta is an open source research project exploring the role of machine learning as a tool in the creative process that covers not only music but art in general. And the subset of that is Magenta JS, which provides JavaScript API uh, to use Magenta models in browsers. And today I will show you a quick demo how to use those uh, models for music uh, in the application. Let's start with the result. This is the application I'm using here, Magenta, in three different ways. The first one uh, here, I'm just using that to play some predefined melody, as for example. I want to be clear that I'm not providing some audio track here. I'm literally providing notes, which due to the web audio API capabilities, we can uh, transfer via browser as sounds. But at the current moment, I'm not using any models. That's why let's look into the second approach where I will use a recurrent neural network model in order to continue uh, the melody we just heard. For example, So basically here I'm using the magenta model. I'm providing the original melody as baseline and according to those few uh, options, I'm getting the result. And whenever I click the button, I always requesting for the result. That's why I always getting something new. And the last approach is another type of the model, uh, which actually uh, just generates some sort of the totally new melody according the, to the model itself. So for example, So now we are relying more on the model and as well, every time I'm clicking, I'm getting something new. Okay, let's look into the code now. So basically here I'm having Angular application. I installed Magenta via NPM, and this is one of the components. Uh, to start with during initialization, I actually need to create some sort of the instrument via which we will play the melodies. Either we are using models or not. So for example, here I'm creating player. And then later on, as for example, when I am playing the original melody, I'm just starting some sort of the notes. Jump song are predefined notes. Notes might be described in different formats, but this is one of them. This is how I describe the jump song by setting the pitch, start time, end time. And this is how we can describe different notes. And at this moment, uh, that is just that. We're just playing those predefined notes. But then let's look into the continuation. In this way, we actually need to use some sort of the model. And uh, that's why during initialization, we are initializing mu music RNN, music neural network. And uh, we need to initialize that by providing a checkpoint. For example, here, I'm providing basic RNN. And then later on, when I click the button, I'm changing firstly the format of notes 
I'm doing that. I'm changing to the quantized format. Uh, and uh, then I can just simple a request for the result from the model itself. And there are three important options as well for which one we can control the result. One of them, for example, steps. We can control the duration of the uh, result, then temperature. Temperature is, is randomization weight. That, in short, means that how far from the original note pitch and uh, length might be the result of the notes. And then steps per quarter, uh, which basically just sets the tempo itself. So there are a few ways we can control uh, the result in, uh, with those three options, then by changing the checkpoint and then by changing the bass melody, as here I'm using the jump song. And another uh, model, uh, which called mu music uh, variational autoencoder here, uh, it's initialized in a pretty similar way by providing the checkpoint but used in a different a different way. Uh, here, for example, I only need to say that I want to have one sample and the temperature might be around this one. And that is it. This is how we are getting the totally new um, melody without providing some sort of the base, baseline. And that is it. The, this was the brief introduction about music programming using machine learning in Angular. And if you find that interesting, you can check my other talks and articles. And uh, now uh, I want to leave you with some music. Uh, music which was created by layering many generated melodies uh, with magenta. Drums and bass line were added by human in order to show uh, how well magenta might be incorporated. Thanks a lot for joining me. It was my pleasure to be here.